About 20 kilometers from the front line, huge works are underway. We've moved from offensive operations to defensive, and when you're defending, you've got to be prepared. So we're getting our defenses ready. We've got mines, barbed wire, dragon's teeth, concrete capsules, and anti-tank ditches being dug. It's a whole system. The Ukrainian government is spending half a billion euros on constructing three lines of defense, at least along the 2,000 kilometer front line, as fast as possible. The military are building the first line of defence themselves, but further back, as here, countless construction firms are suddenly engaged in a whole new kind of work. Colonel Voloshin has come to inspect their progress. The lines that are a bit further from the front are entrusted to regional governments. They do some work themselves and also hire civilian contractors. We keep an eye on how they're building this system. Today, he seems satisfied. But questions are being asked as to why all this wasn't already put in place long ago. In Kyiv, opposition parties are accusing the authorities of a serious failure. We urge our government to budget uh, the uh, expenses for uh, fortification, uh, and, but unfortunately uh, they were deaf uh, for that and they paid more attention to uh, the reconstruction of roads, of bridges and buildings. Others have dismissed such criticisms as political opportunism, saying that Ukraine was not expecting to find itself in this defensive position and anyway the new fortifications will be finished on time. The test will probably come in the early summer when the country fears a new Russian push to take more of its territory.